Hi, so today we're going to go through uh, MySQL and Debezium integration, uh, showing how we can publish messages on a Kafka topic from changes to a MySQL uh, table. And once we get those messages on the Kafka topic, we're then going to uh, trigger a Knative application, a uh, Node.js application from those uh, from those messages. This is, this is a, an overview of what we're going to implement. So we're going to implement MySQL database just with a simple, um, simple table where we're going to make some updates. We will then deploy a Kafka cluster with the Kafka Connect and Debezium plugin. Um, we're then going to set up the Kafka, a Kafka event source and then trigger a Knative Node.js application, which is going to output cloud events, um, compatible events. So high level, um, we're going to go through the following sections. We're going to install the operators uh, required to manage Kafka for OpenShift serverless and also for um, the Kafka uh, event source. We will create a persistent instance of MySQL, um, set up the Kafka cluster, set up Kafka Connect with the custom Debezium image. We'll then do a test of MySQL, Debezium, Kafka, to make sure we're getting messages on, uh, on Kafka from MySQL. And then we'll go through the Knative uh, setup and build and deploy our Knative app. And finally, we'll do an end-to-end -end test of, of um, making updates to MySQL through Kafka to the Node.js app. A couple of resources to have a look at. This is a really good presentation on uh, Kafka data streaming uh, by Gunnar Morling from Red Hat. Uh, really, really good. Uh, I'd recommend anyone who's interested in DBs and have a look at that. And this is the uh, location of, of the source code that I'm going to go through today. So um, I'll put these up at the end and uh, we, can, we can go back through them then. All right, so first thing we're going to do then is we're going to, um, on the OpenShift cluster, we're going to deploy the operators that we need. Um, as I said earlier, we're, we're going to use three operators uh, in this example. So we'll just have a look at this operator general file. Uh, we're deploying the serverless operator, uh, the Knative Kafka operator, and the Streamzy Kafka operator. So I will go ahead and deploy that. Um, so... Just give that a second, uh, and once they're, they're created, we can then uh, create the subscriptions uh, for those operators. So um, for the subscriptions, we're going to subscribe to the stable channel for Strimzy, 4.3 channel for the serverless operator, and the alpha channel for the key native Kafka operator. So I'll go ahead and um, deploy those. We should see on our cluster then, uh, the, they should start to pop up here. I'm on the default project. They sh we should see these um, these operators appearing. Uh, just give them a few seconds. Oh, while we're waiting for that, we'll go back and look at the next step. The next step then is just to set up the MySQL uh, project and deploy an instance of MySQL. So let's get that going as well. So. All right, that's that created, and now we'll create our persistent uh, instance of MySQL. So, all right, that's done. So let's go back to OpenShift. Do we see any installed operators yet? I'll just give them a few seconds. They could take time to to appear. So while that's happening, uh, okay. So there's my MySQL. Um, and you can see here, we should have a, yeah, we've got our MySQL pod creating there, so that's all right. Um, still no operators. Oh, there we go. The operators are starting to appear now, okay. All right, so, um, so once we've done that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna log into our MySQL pod, and we're just gonna create some, create a simple database and uh, create a record and so on. So let's just do that. Um, we'll log into MySQL as the root user. All right, and let us then deploy this MySQL here. Oops. 
Right, so uh, let's see to we create that table correctly. I guess we did. All right, so a very, very simple MySQL database, but it's going to just allow us to show how, you know, when we start making updates and so on to this, we should see DBs and pick those up and put them in the Kafka topic. So let's come out of MySQL. Um, And we'll go ahead and set up the Kafka namespace. We should have our operators available now. We do. Okay. Um, so let us create the Kafka project. And now we're going to deploy our Kafka cluster using the Streamsy operator. So we're going to just run this YAML. Uh, this is very simple configuration. Um, we're just basically setting up a, set up a Kafka, Kafka cluster, three replica set, uh, version 2.5, um, some various settings there for the, for the Kafka cluster. So let's go ahead and deploy that. So while that is going, if we watch the pods there, um, It'll take a few seconds to spin those uh, spin those pods up, and when that's done, we're going to then uh, deploy our instance of Kafka Connect. So before we do that, though, we're going to we're going to download um, the Debezium MySQL plugin, and we're going to create a custom image from that. So so let me go ahead and do that while those pods are starting up. So. Um, All right, um, now I'm going to make uh, an environment available for my key login. So, um, and I'm going to use Podman to build my custom Kafka Connect image. All right, that's building. I'm going to log into uh, key.io where I'm going to push my image. And once I'm logged in there, I'm just push that image up to Q.io. So, all right, um, that's done. Let's just have a look at um, uh, Kafka cluster again. Yep, everything's running there fine. So that's all ready. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're just going to make a simple credentials file with the uh, MySQL credentials that we that we added to MySQL when we when we run that that SQL statement. Um, so let's just do that and then we'll create a secret from those credentials. So we have the secret created, we're going to attach that secret to this uh, container when it is deployed um, and we'll be able to pull the, the credentials from there. So let us just um, execute this. So this is effectively going to create a Kafka Connect instance called My, My Connect Cluster. Um, it's going to use the image that I pushed up to key.io, uh, and that's the location of the Kafka cluster there. So let's just execute that. Press that created. Um, let's just wait for that to come up now. Um, All right, so that's going to that's going to take a few seconds to, to start up. So while that's running, let's just have a look at the configuration. Actually, I'm just going to go back um, first of all and just look at the MySQL that the um, SQL statement that we ran earlier on, just to show that what what we did there was we created a Debezium user and password. We're granting some permissions then to allow um, that user then to to read from the the, the transaction log and so on. Uh, we created a simple database uh, and a table, and then we just created a, a record in that table. So let's have a look at the configuration then for the Kafka Connect that we're going to deploy. So um, this is where we tell Debezium the, you know, the location of the MySQL uh, database we're going to connect to, the username and password, um, the database that we're going to monitor, um, and we're also um, setting here a, a converter, which is going to create a cloud events 
compatible object when it pushes those messages messages to to Kafka. So let's have a look at our pods. Okay, so that's running. Um, let us deploy this um, Kafka connector configuration. So that's that. That's that deployed. So if I if I look at the logs here on my uh, my Kafka Connect uh, instance, um, we should see some. Yeah, we can see here some. Um, it's starting to do some MySQL based um, integrations in there, so we can see it's picking up things from the inventory collection. So. Uh, table and so on. So we should see when we look at the, the topics in Kafka, if I use this command, um, this will list all of the, the topics on, on that Kafka cluster. We should see those MySQL ones coming through. Yeah, so these, this inventory uh, table and then the, and the customers, um, sorry, the customers table in the inventory database um, has, been, has been picked up and populated. So what we will do next is we're going to monitor that um, that inventory customers uh, topic. So let me just do that, and I'm going to make a simple change to uh, one of those records in MySQL. So I'm going to open up another uh, another shell here, um, connect to my my MySQL pod, and log in as root. I'm going to use the inventory database and I'm going to make an update to one of the records there. So back to my uh, shell there. So now we can see this is the um, the record that has been um, pushed to the Kafka topic by Debezium. So let's just have a look at that record. Um, let's just bring it into um, Jason Blob here. Um, so there's the format of the, the message that came into, into Kafka. So the interesting part here is, if we look in the payload, we can see the before version of the, of the record and the after version, because this was an update. Um, in fact, should we see that here? Um, there is an option here to say that it was uh, an update. Uh, There was an, an, an option here to show that it was an update type uh, operation. That must be it there, is it? Let's have a look at another one. Let's create a record and we'll see what changes we have there. So um, let's go back to MySQL again. And this time we're going to create a record. So let me get my SQL for that rather than trying to type it in. Uh, Okay, create a new record. So let's go back to our uh, output. There's the output from Kafka. And let's have a look at that in JSON blob as well. So this time it was a create. Here we go. So that so we can see that that was a creation because it's got the uh, this flag here is set to C, whereas on the on the previous one it's set to U for an update. Uh, and in data, we shouldn't get any, um, yeah, we've no before, we've just got after. So um, we would see the same for a delete as well. Um, we'd, we'd see that the, you know, this would be set to D uh, and you would have a before, but no after, I think, and delete. So that's cool. So that means that anyway, um, we've got that integration working between MySQL and Debezium and Kafka. So once that's working, and uh, we just go on to the next section, um, tested that, uh, got past that bit. So the next thing to do then is just install the Knative eventing and serving. So um, let's go back here. So let's create a Knative serving project. And we're gonna deploy the Knative serving um, 
pods there so let's just apply that that's just using the operator to um to basically you know to deploy key native serving in that in that namespace so if i look at the um the pods there um Some of these takes takes time to start up. They can be restarts and so on there, but they will stabilize in a few seconds. Um, so we'll give that a give that a few seconds, and we'll go off and we'll deploy Knative eventing as well. So let us create that uh, namespace, and now we're going to deploy Knative into that namespace. So and again, very. Sorry, K native eventing. So very simple. Again, we're just we're just uh, deploying the K native eventing objects here. So if I just um, actually it can take a second for those to come up. Um, just give those a second, and they will start to appear now. So once that's done, we have Knative serving and Knative eventing uh, set up. Uh, we're then going to uh, deploy the Knative Kafka source. Um, so let us apply that. So that is deploying uh, this here, which is using the um, the key native event in Kafka operator to deploy everything that's needed to create a Kafka eventing, a key native eventing source for Kafka. So, and again, we should see uh, new pods and so on being created there. Yeah, there's the Kafka related ones there. So, um, so once that's deployed, uh, now we're going to create our key native app. Um, so, Again, we're going to do that with Podman. I'm already logged in. I've already got my, my username set. So I'm going to do a build of my Knative app. So just before I do that, let's just have a look at the code here. There's the key, there's the code for my app. It's, just, it's a very simple Node.js application. Um, one thing I'm doing though is I'm using the Cloud Events SDK from the CNCF, which will basically create a cl um, Cloud Events object and this is I'm calling it my event and I'm just logging that out to to the screen so um so let me build that and push it up to uh the repository so there we go and now that push that up to a key.io So once that's done, um, simply all I need to do then is create, um, you know, deploying my my Knative uh, application. So let me create a new uh, new project, Knative test. I'm going to deploy a Knative service called Event Display, which is going to use um, this image that I just pushed up to to Key.io. So uh, let me just deploy that. Um, and we should straight away see an instance of that deployed. Um, just give it a second, it's still creating a container. There we go. So there's our, our Node.js app running, listening on port 8080. So now that that's deployed, uh, we will then uh, deploy our, uh, our eventing event source. Um, so that is going to deploy this which effectively ties up everything, you know, it creates the link between our uh, Knative topic, sorry, our Kafka topic, inventory, inventory customers, and our event display Knative service. So effectively saying any, any new messages published to this topic, um, send those to this uh, Knative service. So let us deploy that. Um, All right, so final st step then is if I go back to my SQL um, shell, which I still have running here, I'm going to update uh, one of these records again. Um, so this updated that, that record. If I look at the logs for my Knative app, again, we should see... Um, Oh, there we go. Just need to give it a second to run. So this is the output from my Knative Node.js app. So you can see it's output in this cloud event. So 
and here I would have my data, which is my, my you know, my before and after version of my, uh, my MySQL update. Um, yeah, so that's effectively it. So, I mean, what we've got again here is we can see, let me go back to my presentation, um, that when I'm making any changes now to MySQL, uh, Debezium is putting those on Kafka. Uh, Kafka is then uh, triggering a, K a Kafka event source, which is triggering this uh, Knative event display application, which is outputting um, a, cloud, a cloud event object. Um, as I said, uh, there's some really good resources on this. Um, for any information about Debezium, I would I would have a look at that that uh, that talk by Gunnar. It's really really good. Um, and then check out this uh, this repo on GitLab. Um, it's got everything that I've just gone through there to um, to be able to set you set up in your own cluster. So thanks very much.